What up, y'all? It's your boy, Wayne Train, back with another joint. And today, I got my OnePlus 6 review. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, OnePlus 6. Uh, man. Uh, I guess I could start with a disclaimer. Um, I am a huge fan of OnePlus. Uh, I've actually been using, well, not frequently, but uh, I have... The last time I used the OnePlus device was the OnePlus 3, but I did have the OnePlus 1 and the 2. Skipped the 3T and the 5 and the 5T. Kind of thought that was slacking on the originality. Um, so I kind of gave them a break, uh, so to speak. Not saying that the phones weren't great. I just kind of decided to go other routes, try out some other uh, Android devices between that time. And now I find myself back here with the OnePlus 6. Um, Thought it'd be right to go ahead and give it a go. Um, yeah, man. One of my most highly anticipated phones of this year. Uh, so, so much so actually that I actually flew out to New York for the pop up event. Uh, got some stuff that they was giving out there to uh, all the people who, that, to all the people that showed up. So I'm gonna show y'all that a little bit later in the video. But anyway, it's the One Plus Six review. Um, what can I say? What can I start out with? Uh, the price, uh, 579 for the model that I got. That's eight gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of onboard storage, no SD card slot, unfortunately. Um, this is the midnight black color. Comes in three. You get a mirror black, which is a glossy black. This midnight black, kind of a matte glass. Um, uh, they they kind of explain how they achieved that. It's a matte glass, like this isn't metal, this isn't an aluminum, aluminum or whatever. This is a glass back. Um, it's kind of dope. That's the reason why I did mess with this one. And uh, the other one is the uh, silk white, which is similar to this one, but white with some uh, gold trims around it. But that isn't available until June 5th. So uh, if you're looking for that one, keep your eyes out. They'll be they'll be coming pretty soon. But like I said, eight gigs, one twenty-eight storage. Um, this one five seventy-nine, fully maxed out. They go all the way up to two hundred fifty-six gigabytes of storage. They start out with six gigs of RAM, sixty-four gigabytes of uh, onboard storage for five twenty-nine. So price range from five twenty-nine to six twenty-nine. Uh, How does that compare to the competition? Uh, very well, because considering the fact that you probably, if you're thinking about an iPhone or even any other Android phone or any of like a Samsung or whatever, um, if you're looking for 256 gigs of storage, you're probably gonna be spending over, well over 800 bucks, well over 800. So like the iPhone starts out 64 gigs for a thousand, iPhone X rather. Uh, so I'm always gonna be referencing the iPhone X custom one I actually have, so uh, yeah. Anyway, like I said, that's the price of it. Um, I've been using it since the pop-up event, which was uh, May 21st, and uh, the time since the time I've been using it, I will say that just off the bat, it's definitely worth the price. Um, we'll just kind of go step by step, starting out with the design, which is my favorite part of it. Um, it's kind of like a combination, honestly, of like an iPhone X and a Samsung Galaxy S9 uh, Plus, since it's got the dual camera. Because um, if you look at it, um, the back kind of resembles uh, the Samsung. The front definitely resembles the iPhone because of the notch. It's part of the notch squad. We got a lot of Android phones out here rocking that notch. Um, uh, real quick on how I feel about that. I know a lot of people kind of feel like it's kind of a deal breaker. They don't want the notch. I mean, honestly, for me, I'm actually kind of feeling the notch. It uh, it has a little sum to it. Unlike the iPhone X, there is no real like functionality with the notch when it comes to like um, like just these two corners, kind of like the iPhone X. One side does one thing, the other side opens up like your control center and whatnot so um 
there's no real functionality in that aspect, but it does allow you to have just a little bit more screen real estate. Um, so, yeah. And like I said, it just looks a little bit uh, futuristic, if you will. But um, I have no problem with the notch. Um, I do just have a problem with a lot of companies copying off each other, but I'll say that for another video. I've already kind of ranted about that anyway. But um, anyway, as far as the features, we got a, we got a dual camera setup on this one. 16 megapixel shooter, 20 megapixel um, uh, secondary lens. All oh, that's for the um, for your portrait shots, you know, your blurred background joints. Um, and an update will have that portrait mode on the front. I don't believe it's on there just yet. Um, on this one, also 4K, 60 frames a second video recording. Uh, so I'm really happy about that. Right now, I know there's I'm, I'm pretty I know there's other phones that have it. I think one of the LGs have it, but. For sure, the iPhone X got it, and I love it. Um, smooth, clean, crisp videos. Um, takes up a ton of space, but uh, you're gonna love those videos once you get to shooting and doing your thing. But um, yeah, just the overall feel of the device though, feels really good, um, nice and slick. Uh, I do suggest getting the case because this backside is pretty slick. It is glass, but and the fact that it's kind of a, it's got that matte finish. You don't ever get that, uh, that stickiness to the gloss that you get sometime. Um, this is just smooth all the time. So I, I definitely highly suggest either getting yourself a skin or a, um, some kind of screen, or screen protector, that too. But some kind of case would add a little bit of grip. So um, as far as the outside goes, we got your alert slider that's back. They moved it to the other side now kind of feels a little bit more comfortable in my hand anyway because I'm right-handed but um was originally on the left um double tap to wake one of my favorite features that I love like using on most like it used to be it used to be one of those um must-have features but it's kind of faded away um with things like face unlocked which this does have and why I do like the double tap to wake even more because you just double tap and then once it hits the screen, face unlock automatically goes and you'll be all set. But um, getting back to the hardware just a little bit, fingerprint sensor in the back, still super fast, still super quick, just like any of the other uh, OnePlus phones, probably the fastest fingerprint sensor in the game, honestly. Uh, up there with Huawei and them. Uh, yeah, that's what's up. Um, fast charge. Got your uh, dash charge, rather. One of the fastest charging times of all phones. I You can plug this joint up and get uh, over 60% within a half an hour. So you do your thing. You can plug your phone up and just forget about it and all of a sudden your phone's fully charged. And so I think that's a real good thing, um, especially since they threw the glass back on and didn't decide to put wireless charging in it. One of my pet peeves about a lot of these phones, if you're gonna put a glass back, please put wireless charging. Like, there's no point in me having a wa like a glass back phone. All it's gonna do is just add more reason or add more uh, possibility of me breaking something and then I gotta pay extra money to get that fixed. So I know what y'all trying to do. I know I know how the game goes. I understand it's, it's trendy. Everybody's copying each other. But like I said, if you ain't throwing the wireless charging in there, there's really no point in putting a glass back on a phone. Like it doesn't look any better. At least in my opinion, it doesn't. So all it does is just add for more accidental drops and uh, more reasons to have to spend more money on a phone. So. Uh, like I said, we gotta just give me my unibody or a glass with wireless charge. That's all I ask. Um, display, 6.3 inch AMOLED display. Uh, 402, I believe, is what the PPI count is. Um, I like, the, I really do like the display a lot. It's clean. Um, blacks are black as hell. That's because, like you see, you can barely see the notch with the screen off. Um, and with the screen on, once you 
I can hit hit the all black, hit you with all black background, your notch is basically gone. Um, I do wish that it had quad HD, a quad HD, some kind of 4K high resolution display um, with the high PPIs and all that stuff. Just because, I mean, I don't, you can't see pixels or anything like that with this display, but uh, the competition has it. Uh, it looks amazing um, when you do finally have like a phone with quad HD. But um, I understand, like I said, a lot of those things come at a cost battery life um they did shrink the battery on this one so it wouldn't really make sense to add all of that stuff on top of a shrinking battery and um yeah so um i understand the omission but definitely wish i had it i am glad that they kept the headphones jacked up so keep it up one plus with that um no ir blast or anything like that um they never had one so can't really complain about it uh, let's see. I guess I can move right on into the software. It's running Oxygen OS. That's their um, lightly skimmed UI to like. Um, it's really it's really close to any like stock experience that you get. Just straight up vanilla Android. Just stock as it can be. There's not really many um, uh, cosmetic like additions. Um, when you look at it, just like going through the menus and stuff, a lot of this stuff is real um, similar to like the Google Pixel and everything. Um, yeah. So, like I said, there's no crazy uh, gestures except for some of my favorite. Like it did come stock with your notification, um, notification uh, navigation bar down here at the bottom. Um, but I got rid of that and hit up the gestures. And this is why, like this, the OnePlus is basically the iPhone of Androids. Um, they copied almost everything. Uh, like the iPhone X, you got your swipe up, or I mean, swipe up and hold to pull up your recent, your recent apps, um, clear them joints. Uh, and then like if you're inside of a browser or something, you can hit swipe up to go back swipe up again to go home if you can see that so go here swipe up to go back swipe up to go home you know so you do that from either side too and it does forward and back or whatever but cool gestures they work almost 100 almost 100 they do work 100 percent of the time i uh, haven't had any hiccups at all when it comes to the os the software is running smooth as butter um, and that's what OnePlus is really known for. Um, they really produce uh, some great software. Mostly, like I said, and a lot of it's a lot of it's like um, a lot of the ideas and everything are um, uh, a lot of the things are coming through their uh, close knit um, fan base. They actively do like pay attention to their users, and um, I appreciate that from OnePlus. Um, honestly, like at like like many other uh, manufacturers, once they get to that level, I do see them kind of veering away and getting away from that kind of um, interaction with their fan base. Um, it may not happen, but I anticipate it happening. It's just kind of par for the course. Like, you get, it's like, when you start getting money, you just kind of, you know, you find yourself hanging out with a different crowd, you know what I mean? So it wouldn't surprise me one bit if OnePlus just all of a sudden just start throwing out whatever they thought was necessary. And just like any other company, um, they take a little bit of consideration from the fans, but most of it is they got their little PR or whatever department that knows everything about everybody. So um, I anticipate that happening pretty soon because OnePlus is advancing and they're getting better and better every year that they drop a device. So um, I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for it to happen, but I'm going to enjoy everything that they're doing right now for the time being, keeping the prices down and keeping the features up. So that's what's up. Um, what else we got? Uh, battery life I can talk about real quick. Um, Today, let me go ahead and see where I'm at. Yesterday, I know I, I found myself, it said, 
I had about four and a half hours screen on time when I had about 33% left. Um, the only problem, like that sounds great, but the only problem is I don't believe that I was using it heavy. I definitely wasn't playing like a lot of music, not a ton of like videos or YouTube or anything. But, you know, it, it is what it is. Let me see where I'm at now. It says I'm at three hours and 46 minutes for a screen on time. And I'm at about 26%. Today I did use it a little bit more. I found myself playing some music for a few hours at work, um, a little bit of YouTube. Um, oh, yeah, YouTube all day with this whole Drake Pusha T thing, man. Oh, my God. Yo, that is amazing. If you are a hip-hop head, it's a great time in hip-hop. Just wanted to throw that in there. But, yeah, so I've been all day online checking that stuff out. But um, other than that, um, I w like I said, I, the battery life isn't great. Um, but fast charge really kind of solves a lot of those problems. Um or dash charge rather. Um, although, like I said, I, I don't want it to be the end all be all. So they just throw you a crappy battery and just depend on dash charge. That's not the way to go. I do wish that they um, put in a bigger battery, 4,000 milliamp, 3,800, something that I know for a fact would get me through the day. Um, I was using the Huawei Mate 10 Pro and that's easily the best battery life I was getting on any smartphone of 2018, 2017, it, it was some of the best I was getting like in a long time. So um, I do wish more phones would start thinking about throwing in that bigger battery. Like they're able to cram in all kinds of stuff in those devices with that big battery inside. So I know, I know a lot of them other, I know a lot of other companies can do the exact same. So it is what it is though. Um, Let's see what else we got. As far as features goes, like I said, it's got the face unlock, which works really great. Um, it's super fast. Only problem is, like I said, you can't. Um, it doesn't just like read your face like off when the screen is off. So you got to hit a button or you got to hit double tap to wake, and then it will activate the face unlock. So it's the only downside to it. But other than like once it's there, it's it's super fast. Um. Yeah, man. I think. I think that's about it, y'all. Um. Yeah. Um. We already know, like I said, OnePlus. They like. So as far as like the software goes, super customizable. Well, I won't say super customizable, but you there's no like real like big themes or anything, but you could change different colors and whatnot um, of like your UI, you can change your dark mode. That's one of the things that I always look for. Is there a dark mode? I need a dark mode. So <laughs> that's just me. Uh, you can change the accent colors and stuff like that. Uh, let me see as far as the display brightness. Let me just show y'all. I get, let me see. I think it gets pretty, pretty bright if you could tell. I, think, I, mean, I mean, like I said, it's off the video, but I think I think honestly I think the brightness is uh sufficient. Um, I know a lot of people look for super duper bright phones, and I mean, honestly, I don't. That's that's one of the things that I don't always pay attention to is like brightness levels. But um, I think it's 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 good when you're outside. There's no um, I'm not having any issues with not being able to see anything with glare and whatnot. Um, everything looks good when I'm outside. Um, yeah. Um, I think that's it, though, y'all. Uh, like I said, I did pick this up at the pop-up event uh, out there in New York City about a week ago. Um, they hooked your boy up. They hooked everybody up. I got a T-shirt, you know, never settle. Never settle for the BS. Um, and that's a, that's a real, real statement. Um, I'm glad they're still sticking by that. Uh, this hat. Also, never settle. Uh, throw this trim back. I'm still keeping a tag on. Uh, and a bag, man. This bag is clean. Nice. A little, little bit of space. Got lots of slots and pockets. Stuff like that. Uh, so it's a good, like, there's a travel bag. Good for your laptops, your, uh, any little tech that you want to take with you. 
uh, even for y'all kids in school, you know, plenty of space for your books, uh, lots of slots, and it's a nice big pocket down here. Um, I didn't, I didn't see any like water bottle holders or anything. Really got some little slots here on the side, but um, they hook you, they hook people up, man. I, I got like an extra, got an extra. Oh, this case came actually with the device, so keep that in mind too. If you do buy yourself a OnePlus Six, you will be getting a little, little flimsy uh, case. But like I said, not, something is better than nothing. I'm glad they. That's a nice touch. All the phones got like a little screen protector on them too. They've been doing that for a while. Um, but yeah, man, uh, OnePlus is winning right now. They're doing a thing. Uh, I highly, 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 highly suggest this device, this phone. Um, if you're having, if you're, if you're, especially when it comes to finances. I mean, if you're just looking for, if you're looking for something that competes. And does like and it's just flagship specs for less than a flagship price. That's that's the whole point of the flagship killer motto that they've been touting for years. And honestly, they 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 use they they kind of have they they've been killing it for a while. And a lot of people don't want to say they they haven't because they keep slacking on some things. But honestly, having a OnePlus. Six or any OnePlus device really kind of sits you down, and makes you realize, like, yo, do I really need that? And I kind of did that at least with this phone. Like I said, the fact, like, the camera quality, I forgot to actually touch on that. Camera quality is good, really great camera. There's a couple issues that I have as far as like um, taking pictures, like when you zoom. If you take a picture and try to zoom in on it, let me see if I could pull up a, a quick joint. Mm. Let me see here. Let me show y'all some of the joints. I was out in Denver over the weekend. Uh, I think that's a real clean photo. Um, you know, zoomed in, looks still looks clean. But like, show y'all something, like the problem that I have had, like if you take a picture that's zoomed in or you like, or if you take a picture while it's like zoomed into the max, like your face kind of starts looking like it's like a painting or whatever. It's it's, it's really weird. Um, that's that's from the selfie camera. Um, I haven't had that problem with the uh, the rear camera, but let me see if I can find one where that is evident. Like okay, here's a photo of myself. It may be really hard to tell on the camera, but uh, so I got zoomed in. And this is all the way out. But like if you go all the way in, like some of that detail along like this area here kind of gets lost and it's just like mushy. If you see it on, on like the, like in person, it really does look like a painting. Like it's, it's really weird. And like I said, I've only noticed it on the selfie camera. The selfie camera does take like good shots, but that's one of the things that I think they need to uh, Fix when it comes to the camera. I'm not sure if it could be done with a software update, but who knows? I've seen it done. But um, but overall, though, like that's you always gotta ask yourself that question when it comes to the OnePlus Six, like especially with the camera. You take a picture, compare it to like the iPhone X or Samsung Galaxy S9 or Huawei P10 or Mate 10 Pro, or whatever. All these phones with three cameras and whatnot. Ask yourself: Does that picture on that one thousand dollar phone? Is it that much better than the picture on my five hundred, six hundred dollar phone? Is it a three? Is it worth the three hundred dollar price difference? Is it? Ask yourself that. And my answer is, hell no, hell no, not at all, never, ever, not, not one, not at all. Like out of all the pictures I've been taking, there's been arguably there's some pictures on here that I've been taking that are better than um, some of these phones out, and. Um, like I said, it's definitely not the best camera, but it's right up there. And for five hundred and seventy or five hundred, yes, five hundred seventy nine dollars, six hundred twenty nine, whatever you end up buying, that's worth it all day. Like I said, there's no wireless charging, no quad HD display, um, but that's really kind of like 
when you think about it, that's really the difference between the t- like a lot of these other phones. It's just a couple of features, and you just got to find yourself, like, is it really worth that difference, you know? And um, my, like I said, my answer is no. Especially with everything that they offer, the phone is just so smooth, and that's my thing. Speed, and that's another model. They just kind of start going with the OnePlus 6. The speed you need, like I said. I'm a fan, man. I'm, I'm a big fan of OnePlus, and they, they've, been, they've, been, they've, been, they've been doing their thing. So um, I, I, I have been trying to be objective, so I apologize if I've been fanning out a little bit in the video. But... Uh, they uh they've been doing their thing. But uh anyway, uh uh let me know if I forgot anything. Let me know if there's anything more that you guys want to know, any other phones that y'all want me to get, anything else that y'all want me to review, anything that y'all uh just wanna know in general, hit me up in the comments. I'm really looking forward to anybody's opinions, anybody's uh thoughts on this device, other devices, what you plan on doing. So uh Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, those are my main joints, but, uh, yeah, it's your man, Wayne Train. I'm out.